One of the city's must-go-to restaurants is Ceviche 105, owned and operated by Chef Juan Chipoco, who's taken traditional Peruvian food to the next level. How are you, John? Well, How are you doing? doing? Welcome to Ceviche 105, please. Thank you, Wes. When we go to this restaurant, yeah. we think about art. From the minute you walk in, you're surrounded by all things Peruvian. That means Incas, baby. Las máscaras, oh, the mask, that, yeah. and we have the every cultura, uh, mochica, chimú, represents a lot of background from Peru. Yeah. We're trying to bring our culture and some kind of twist of color, modern, contemporary. Oh, it's gotcha. a great vibe, protection, good energy. So and everything mix makes a beach 105. Everything about this place is a celebration of Chef Juan's Peruvian roots, and I'm all about it. So how did you get to this place? I mean, because you're a mogul. So it's more than this place. It's a lot of places. Uh, I think this restaurant expanded right three times because we started in a tiny place, hole right. in the wall in downtown, six tables. It used to be a Cuban restaurant here in so Wait, wait, wait. This, your first restaurant here was a Cuban restaurant? Yes. But I used to From, work in the Cuban restaurant. Oh, you used to work in Cuban restaurants. Gotcha. So I got the experience. I know the food. I know the recipes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm starting in this hole in the wall. For two years, I was bleeding because I'm not able to pay rent, taxes, right. nothing. So it forced me to get better and see... Mm things different. The owner said, look, you owe me three months in rent. Yeah. Give me the key back and go, leave. So, no, I can't. So this is my only opportunity in life. I put my money here, all my money, yeah. in a line of credit of my house. Bro, you really believed in yourself. I love that. And I said, look, give me some time. Please, trust me. So I just come back to Lima. I got my degree. From, from where? From, uh... from Discovery as a culinary institute in Lima. After years and years of cooking Cuban food, Chef Juan went back to his homeland of Peru to find inspiration and learn how to cook the food of his people. I just do my things for two months. I come back just with... Just two months. Two, two months, months is all you needed to prep... Two months. ...to figure out your cuisine. Create my menu. Yeah. My, my, my ideas. Right. And what, what are your ideas, if you don't mind sharing with me? <sighs> ideas. Peru has got amazing culture, food, spices. It's very easy to keep comfort keeping the essentials yeah. with a modern twist. It makes a whole difference. When he returned to Miami, he relaunched his restaurant and boom, Ceviche 105 was born. Guys, un poquito más de color ese arroz, más color, please. Chequealo y retócalo y pruébalo antes de sacarlo, please. Teach him, okay? Thank you. I've had lots of Peruvian food in my life, but let me tell you, this is something really special. Uy, uy, uy. Ahora se pone buena la cosa. Parihuel is a seafood soup. This is a piece of yellowtail, cashew de day, with a seafood broth. A spices reduced with rice, great flavors. Mm, wow. Vegetables, mm -hmm. seafood, Amazing. spicy. Oh my God, it's killer. Buen provecho to myself. Buen provecho. <laughs> so tell me about your family and how you started in Lima, Peru. My father died when I was six, almost seven years old. I remember, like yesterday, I was so sad about it. Of course. I was the older son, right. two more brothers, one sister. I used to work eight, nine, 10, 12 years old. I, I went to school, of course, but I was doing something on the side. Right. Selling helados, ice cream in the street, selling clothes, used clothes in the markets. I do everything just to get my own money. So entrepreneurial, to, yeah, To yeah, support yeah. My, my mom, help her mm -hmm. working every summer, all weekends. Right. Yes. As a young man, left there when you were 20. Uh, 20 years old. You believed the American dream and you came here and you made it happen because most people have one failure and they completely give up. But you, you didn't. You, you had me, such and tenacity. And don't get me wrong. Everything was not easy. A struggle for years. How many years? Like, I can say seven years. Like many Latinos, Chef Juan did it all by working his way from the bottom up. Ceviche, showtime, ready for action. Today, he owns nine restaurants across Miami. You have to dream all day long. Because I'm a dreamer. Learning and the process, right. doing everything to survive. I would start washing dishes. I was working at restaurants, I like prep, cook, chef, manager. You did it all, so, you did it all. And really understand each department. When you come as an immigrant and you confront this country, you have to be patient. I think that's the key. You have to be persistent. Beautiful, look at wow. that. And this is our ceviche combination, the chuguito, three different textures. That's the fresh mm. cash of the day, black grouper. Oh, black grouper. Octopus and scallops, oh. crudos, crispy calamari with golden flakes, of course. Represents... Gold because Peru, the yes, gold. Yes, of course. We have the leche de tigre with rocoto. It's a beautiful color, rocoto. Yes, very aromatic. It's a great balance of textures and spices. Mm. Mm. Wow. Thank you.
and this is a sweet potato. Sweetness with the spicy and the citrus. Mm, and the gold. Yeah. The gold of our people. Mm, this is incredible. And then you have to try this one. This is our scallop chalaca with un rocoto aioli on top in a different texture. Rocoto so. aioli. Una chalaquita, las onions, tomato, cilantro, lime. Mm. Then you can please, that's how I can't talk while I'm, while I'm experiencing something. Mm. Mm. But that's super it's balanced amazing. and healthy. Oh, but it's the flavors that really pop, the simplicity of it, but at the same time, it does go pow in your mouth. Exactly. Oh, I want to try scallops now. So fresh scallops, mm. never frozen. So, so good. Are you guys jealous? You want some? <laughs> Not for you. Mm. Wow. You know what else I love about this guy? He gives back to the community. We work very hard in a training process and impacting these young people. You have to appreciate what the life gives you. Yeah, yeah. You got gratitude. I mean, it's it's the immigrant thing. We appreciate so much every little thing we get that it re-inspires us instantly. It's the way you inspire more yeah. people. It's trying to teach Incredible. the way yeah, yeah. you can get there. So that's my mission. I feel like I can do more. Right. I can open doors. I see you as a success. Could only happen here in Miami. You have to have this melting pot of Latin people, a city that's 70% Latino, to make brown power, brown success. Chef Juan is the perfect example of the immigrant hustle. By honoring his roots and working hard, he's created a space as Miamian as it is Peruvian. 